Todd Plain has the lever. Hits the button now, and they're off and racing. Good start away as well. From the inside, Thunderclap Newman amongst the first to go. Vidello Blue and also Magic Las Vegas. 23 red coming across now to head them. Gold Artisan settled just behind those through the first 250. Prince Hell getting back there shortly after the start when they'd left the straight. Followed then by Navy Blue and Law Major last of all. By Beckett's Gate they go. Verdello Blue led them in the early part. Settled a length and a half in front of 23 red. Magic Las Vegas down on the inside, easing back for Hill, took a trail behind old Vidello Blue. A length and a half away then at the 1600, Brothers Keeper in the pink jacket going around Thunderclap Newman, then came Gold Artisan. Next on the rails behind them to Prince Hell, back in the field with Navy Blue, and last of all is Law Major. Verdello Blue took them to the back of the course. By the 1300 they go, and it's the evergreen Verdello Blue by a length and a half. 23 red running second on the outside of Magic Las Vegas, nearly two lengths Brothers Keeper. Over on the inside Travelling fifth under Clap Newman, a half a length to Gold Artisan getting cover. Prince Hell's down on the inside from Navy Blue and whipping them all in. Law Major heading by the 1,000 metres. They track down the Swan River side of the course and it's Verdello Blue getting a little breather. Three quarters of a length in front. 23 red on his outside. Down on the inside with no change to the order is Magic Las Vegas. A length away then Brothers Keeper getting a good run. The top weight fourth at the 800. Then on the rails Thunder Clap Newman. Three quarters of a length away. Gold Artisan stoking up now from Prince Hell. Navy Blue Law Major still last of all as Verdello Blue led them. Inside the 600 they come. Verdello Blue only a half a length. 23 red peeling off around them. Brothers Keeper now is starting to warm to the task. Magic Las Vegas strung up on the inside. Going up joining him. Thunderclap Newman. Gold Artisan three and four deep as Brothers Keeper surges around them. Into the home straight now. They're on the point of the corner. Brothers Keeper sprints to the lead from Verdello Blue. 23 red. Thunderclap Newman, Magic Las Vegas finally gets into the clear, but the bird might have flown at the 150 and Brothers Keeper sailed away. Gold Artisan is knuckling down and charging late. Brothers Keeper's in front, shortening stride. Gold Artisan coming, but Brothers Keeper does enough to win it. Brothers Keeper scored by half a length on the fast finishing. Gold Artisan, Magic Las Vegas, Navy Blue and Verdello Blue in a photo for third place. And they were followed behind those when they'd pulled up Law Major, Thunderclap Newman and then 23 red who capitulated it's back second from last and with it is prince hell brothers keeper number one is the winner ridden by troy turner under the 50 dine he was able to give the five-year-old a sweet trip just behind them lobbed into a lovely trail after they'd settled down 460 480 into 380 then back to fours at the finish enough support there for brothers keeper carrying the 59 and off the back of his victory at york last start has now posted another victory here with a good performance under the hands of Troy Turner. Four gold outers and backing up on the four days, another second for the son of more than ready with Alan Kennedy aboard. It's a photo required there for third placing. A good tussle for the miners between Magic Las Vegas, late Navy Blue, Videlo Blue towards the rail as well, and Magic Las Vegas gets the judges pat ahead of Verdello Blue fourth. One, four, five, and two. Their official, one, four, five, and two, posted after the running of race number four. So the winner by Casino Prince from the Galileo Mayor Happily is owned by Jim and Mrs. T. Anderson, L. Coleman, W. Ryan, and Mrs. Vicky Knott, trained by Tiana Robertson, ridden by Troy Turner. Win number five out of 19. He's building up a really good card. Second placing going to Gold Artisan, a more than ready El Porgy gilding for Rob Mitchell, Nick Georgetta, Glenn Evans, Wayne Forrest. Trained by Ted Martinovich and ridden by Alan Kennedy. And third, Magic Las Vegas by Trade Fair out of Arcade Attraction for the Lima Syndicate. Mrs M Vines, the No Limit Racing Syndicate. Also, Keith Bell, Jay Mills, Laura Jordan, trained by Paul Jordan, handled by Ryan Hill. A half by two, 2.15.60 at the time thereafter the fourth. Race five is the Macca Ride to Conquer Cancer Handicap. This race now goes at 4.10. 4.10, the amended starting time over the 1,200 metres. No other alterations there as we go to Gareth, and he's with uh, Tiana Robertson down there. This has been a good weight-carrying performance by Brothers Keeper. A terrific effort. I was at 2J to see this horse finish his second in the cup, and it was a big effort behind an informed galloper and a progressive stay in Rose's shadow. And since then, Tiana, um, this horse has just been in a rich vein of form, back-to-back -back victories now.
Yeah, he's uh, trained on from 2J in his York win a couple of weeks ago. Um, he's a progressive stayer um, and he just keeps improving, so he's found his form. And today the race panned out perfectly for him. He landed in a beautiful position and when Troy pushed the button, he quickly put a bit of a buffer on the field and then he was holding a gold artisan on the line pretty well in the end as well. Yeah, Troy rode him perfectly. He had the speed early on and he just sat behind that and he's just a horse that needs a bit of room. Um, he got him moving early and, uh, yeah, couldn't fault the ride. Has he always showed you this type of efforts that he could put in like today and a uh, progressive type definitely and it's definitely a Saturday staying race in him you would imagine. Yeah he's shown us a lot of ability um, he's probably been a little bit disappointing at times but um, mentally he's taken a while to mature so he's finally gotten there and uh, hopefully he can continue to go on with it. A bit of fun over these staying races I think with this fella well done. Thank you. There's Tiana Robertson she is a very good young trainer and she's kicking plenty of goals Brit and she's got brothers keeper well she's worked him out and he's matured and boy he's racing well. He certainly is and she's presented him in fantastic order today as I mentioned before just the coat just looks like it's come on so beautifully and a nice strong horse a, a good sign to be able to carry that 59 kilos which isn't easy for any horse to do but uh, it's always a good sign when they can carry a bit of weight particularly over a journey and uh, Troy Turner was fortunate enough from that gate just to be able to uh, get a lovely run and we'll catch up with Troy now and Troy were able just to land in a, a beautiful spot. Yeah, I got in a good spot and he um, been able to roll into it nicely about the 600 and uh, got the job done. We're always confident with him over a journey like this. We've seen him place twice. Is this always the way he's been heading? Yeah, Tiana's got him going really well. He's, he's been placed really well as well and um, he's just coming to his straps now so I can't see why he couldn't um, sneak a Saturday win. Did he impress you with being able to carry the 59 kilos today? Yeah, I think um, fit stays and that, they can handle it. He got rolling at the right time so... Um, definitely it was a good effort for him. Well done on the win. Yeah, thanks, Mick. Yeah, well done to Jagsy there. Troy Turner, brother's keeper defeats gold.